See, I think there's a better way than going over the fiscal cliff, as some of my colleagues have unfortunately recommended. I think we ought to do is extend all the current tax rates for at least one more year. These rates have been in place for 12 years now. There was a two-year extension, as we all know, that was supported with bipartisan majorities and signed into law by President Obama a year and a half ago. I think, actually, this is the approach that might have the best chance of succeeding. And then we use that time this next year to do what we really need to do on the tax side, which is fundamental pro-growth tax reform, so that we have the growth that we badly need. I think there's really very little dispute that if we do that tax reform right, it generates very strong economic growth and the job creation that goes with it. But we also, it's at least equally important that we do the entitlement reform that is driving this whole fiscal problem in the first place. And let me just be clear. Uh, I know I'm not going to get my way on everything. The entitlement reform that we do isn't going to look exactly the way I would write the plan. Um, but we do have to agree on the fundamental problem. We do have to face the facts that these programs need to be reformed. And just as I think I demonstrated on the Super Committee and many other times in the year and a half that I've been in the Senate, I'm willing to work with people on the other side for this very, very important goal. And just think of the upside if we get this right. If we put our biggest entitlement programs on a sustainable path, not only do we ensure their survival, but that's by far the most important thing to avoid this fiscal crisis that we are courting so irresponsibly, in my view. If we also enacted pro-growth tax reform that everybody knows we need, I think we would kick off a surge of investment and economic growth and job creation and corresponding consumption. I think we would see the recovery that we've been waiting for if we did those two things. So I think a strong recovery is well within reach, but it's up to us. If we can finally get it right here in Washington with the right kinds of policies that demonstrate we have the political will to put our country on a sustainable fiscal path and we've got the ability to create a pro-growth uh, tax and investment environment,